If you wish to watch entire series of these videos, you can enroll for this course in Udemy. I have given this link in the description of this video. Hello folks, welcome back. In last video we have seen how to copy artifact onto Docker host. In this video I am going to show you how can we deploy var file on Docker container. For that purpose I am going to use the same job deploy on Docker by modifying little bit. Let's jump into our Jenkins console and uh, yes this is our deploy on docker let's create a new job deploy on container and i will copy the information from deploy on docker okay i'm changing it as a container github should be same git repository url is same and build also i'm not changing anything and we are going to push our var file onto docker host once it is available in the docker host we need to create a image out of it to create image out of it we need to run some of the docker commands those commands we are going to execute from the publish over ssh so that uh, those commands create a docker image and a docker container for that purpose let's add a command go to inside to slash home docker admin then create an image docker build minus t image name i am giving devops image devops image from dot once image is created we need to create a server so docker run minus d nothing but a detached mode minus name devops container export on port number 8080 internally runs on port number 8080 from devops image all right so what we are doing is once var file is copied onto target system it go inside to the home directory and run the docker build minus t devops image it creates a image called devops image then also create a container called devops container by using the image whatever we create okay now let's save this one and execute the job apply save so before executing this one we'll go and check is there any images or containers are there pwd ls we have docker file and var file let's remove var file so it should create a new one whenever we execute the job next thing is uh, docker ps minus a no container docker images we have a image docker rmi removing this image so it's clean right now clear the screen let's go back to our jenkins server build this job so this time what should happen it should able to create a var file var file get copies onto the target system and uh, Jenkins server is going to run couple of commands on the target system that is it goes inside to docker admin account and create a image docker ps docker ps minus a docker images we got a new images under docker ps minus a we got new container as well let's access it from the browser and our job is successful so container docker host ip address colon we have exposed it on port number 8080 okay apache default page is working web app if i do yes we could able to see this one all right this is how we can deploy on a container by using jenkins now assumes that there is a change in the code and uh, we have to create a new var file and get it to deploy into your target environment 
So assuming that there is a new code and let me try to build it. So it's trying to build. So you can see here, it's built the new var file. It's copied the var file onto target environment and trying to build and deploy a new container. But problem here is there is already a container called DevOps container running on the system. So you cannot able to deploy a new container with the same name. And another problem here with the Jenkins is I am deploying on a target environment which I have registered. Assumes that you have hundreds of systems where you need to deploy, you need to register all those systems with the Jenkins which is a difficult task. These kind of problems cannot be able to achievable through the Jenkins if you achieve also there is a, so much work you need to do. Henceforth, we are going to use Jenkins only as a build tool for the deployment purpose use Ansible. So Ansible take this VR file and deploys it in a target environment whatever we specify. We are going to see how it is happen in the next video. Until then, see you. Bye.